So we're watching the 2013, nigga. Full TV episode 8. Attack of the Raptors versus the, the Blue Goblins. Here they go. Here they go. Cut that. Bro. Oh, he just straight cannibalized himself to the gods. I guess he's clowning. Might have been enough had he come out of that way, but it is not going to be as we see a very excited Michelle Perez. What a performance for the Tahitian. He is going to be down to the same time. A great oh, campaign easy. by Michelle, and Flash he'll go up against the rookie, Nat Young, in semifinal number two. That's going to be a great heat. But in semifinal number one, it'll be the two men from Queensland, Joel Parkinson, our defending champion, and Josh Kerr. How do you pick those? Yeah, these are some great matchups. you got the two regular foots up in the top there. Uh, Nat Young's been on fire on the backside, but Michelle Perez, he's really been the power surfer of this event. Well, We will see how it plays out when we return to the Oakley Pro Bali. You are watching the Red Bull Signature Series presented by Casio G's One Commando 4G LTE. With some apps, you never know what'll be waiting when you get there. Need I say? Welcome back to the Red Bull Signature Series. You're watching the Oakley Pro Bali. I'm Asakela here yes, with Mike Parsons and Mike Semifinal Final Number 1. Right. Between the two Queenslanders, Josh Kerr and house. defending champ Joel Parkinson, conditions a little slow. Yeah, been a very slow start here so far, and you can see the texture on the ocean surface there. Wind coming up just a little bit, but still fantastic conditions for these semifinals. And as we're in the slow, how about we take a look back at the history of this surfing mecca known as Bali. Albi Falzon released Morning of Beer, 1972. The idealistic portrait of surfers living in harmony with nature inspired a new era of surf exploration. But it was images of 14-year-old Stephen Cooney at Uluwatu, a perfect left on Bali that made Indonesia ground zero for a new breed of tube-hungry wave hunters. Hawaiian icon Jerry Lopez made his first visit in 1974. And after 1974, when the North Shore went dormant each summer, Bali soon became <laughs> his jumping off point. You know, that was the start of a very long and prosperous <laughs> trip with Indonesia. But it all began in Bali, and, you know, even now, looking back, I always feel that <laughs> Bali really had the best of it. In 2008, Oakley decided to transform the <laughs> yeah, Pro Junior Circuit I mean, by launching the Oakley Global weird. Challenge in Bali. A <laughs> gathering of the world's years. best under 20 surfers who qualified in regional time. events. Finally, the ASP's <laughs> Young World Tour host had know. a dream tour stop. Check it out, look. <laughs> Gangland <laughs> everywhere. All my gang. Right there. <laughs> my gang. Yeah, are always looking out for me. <laughs> making, making sure that, I'm, that my time, that my <laughs> Einstein muskets are safe.